And key, Dr. Sab is explaining very beautifully. In this lesson, we learn the following. The marifa and nakira. The definite al-marifa and indefinite al-nakira. Read this passage. Read it very carefully, brother. A man came to me and said that he was hungry. He was stranger. I gave the man some money. I started the sentence, a man came. And then now I am saying, I gave the man some money. Because now he is no longer a stranger. I know for whom I am talking about. Okay, brothers and sisters. Here, a man is indefinite because he is a unknown to you. And to your listener. But the man is definite because he has already been mentioned. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? In Arabic, the following seven categories of nouns are definite. This is very, very important. Huh? Very important. Pronouns like ana, anta, and huwa. They are all definite. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? If you remember, in book one, I used to say, all pronouns are definite. All pronouns are definite. Proper names like Ahmad, Al-Hindu, Makkatu, these are also definite. Huh? Demonstrative pronouns, Hadha, Hadhi, Tilka, Zalika, Ulaika, Haulai, these are all definite. Huh? Relative pronouns like Alladhi, Alladhina, Allati, and here we are introduced to two new ones, Ma and Man. These are also these are also relative pronouns. Eh? Ma al mausula will say. Right? The noun with article al, we know. Al makes the noun definite. A noun with a definite noun as its mudaf ilayhi. Remember? If the mudaf ilayhi is definite, then the mudaf is definite. Kitabu hamidin. Kitabuhu, remember Kitabuhu, Kitabul Mudarris, okay? Kitabu Haza, hmm? and Kitabul Lazi, these are all definite, huh? okay? Because they are all coming as a Mudaf to a Mudaf Ilehi, which is definite. Hmm? A noun which has an indefinite noun as its mudaf ilayhi, is indefinite. Huh? Kitabu talibin. Talibin. What is talibin? Indefinite. Now here the kitab is also indefinite. Huh? A student's book. Baitu mudarisin. A teacher's house. So this is, I think we have already studied it and we know it. If the mudaf ilayhi is indefinite, then the mudaf is indefinite. If the mudaf ilayhi is definite, then the mudaf is definite. Inshallah. Monada specified by nida. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Monada specified by nida. Ya rajulu. O man. Ya waladu, oh boy. Note that the rajalun and waladu are indefinite. But they have become definite because they are the ones meant by the caller. Hmm? If however an indefinite noun is not specified by the caller, it remains indefinite even after being munada. As a blind man saying, Ya rajulan, khuz. Biyadi. Now here, brothers and sisters, we have to understand a little bit. When you use harfu nida, ya, the monada becomes definite. But in the case of a blind man, he doesn't see. Okay? And at the corner of the street, he shouts. Then 
he is not specifying his call to any particular person. He's just saying generally. Then at that time, the monada is indefinite. And here, it will come in the form of mansub. Ya rajulan. No, rajulan is here indefinite. Inshallah, you will remember this. Oh man, hold my hand. It is obvious that he does not mean any particular person. Note that in Ya Rajulu, the Munada is Mabni and has U ending. While in Ya Rajulan, it is Mansu. Huh? It is Mansu. Okay. A Nakira becomes a Marifa by being Munada as we have seen. Waladun became Ya Waladu. It became Marifa. Whereas a Marifa is not affected by Nida. Bilalun is definite. Are you with me? And when you say Ya Bilalun, it was already definite. Okay, that's all we have to see, brother and sister. Now, Taal, this is something. I will explain you, inshallah, in greater detail. Hopefully tomorrow, inshallah. Now, we come to the main lesson. Now, you will be underlying or highlighting everything definite and indefinite. Have a lesson? We want to know now. Is it definite? Is it indefinite? Al Mushtari. What is Al Mushtari? Definite. How is it definite? By Alif Lam. Huh? Huh? This Al is called Al Lutarifi. I love definiteness. Huh? Okay. It will come in the lesson, inshallah, and you will have to write it down. Mushtari. What is mushtari? Ishtara. Yashtari. And what is mushtari? Ismufail. What is it? Ismufail. Okay. Brother, take out Al. What will you do now, Sister Rahima? Mushtarin. Mushtarin. Mankus. Mushtarin. You bring Alif Lam and it become, the Ya became visible. Is it clear, brother? Brother Hassan? Mushtarin. Huh? And it became Al Mushtari. Okay. What is the meaning of Al Mushtari? The buyer. The purchaser. Okay. Aladaika Akalamun. What is it, brothers and sisters? Aladaika Akalamun. Do you have pens? Okay. What kind of a sentence is this? Chumlaismiya. Where is Muftada? Akalamun. Where is our Khabar? Ladai only. Zarf. Shibu Jumla Khabar and then Ka Mulafili. Okay. But that, what is Aklamun? Indefinite. Are you with me? And what is Ka? Definite. Definite. Huh? Because it is Damir. These are all definite. Huh? Very good, brother and sister. So you will be, you know, uh, watching each and every word. And wherever there is a definite and indefinite, you will try to figure out. So this is a very beautiful lesson, brothers and sisters, and will give you a lot of insight, uh, further insight into definite and indefinite. Sahibul Mahli. What is the Sahibul Mahli? Owner of the store. Huh? Sahibul Mahli. Al Mahli definite? Yes. Why? Al. Is Sahibu definite? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. It is. We will say Mudafun ila 
marifa. What will you say? Mudafun ila marifatin. Write down, brother. Mudafun ila Are you with me, brothers and sisters? But these things are all coming in the lesson. And also you can double check with the Hello Tamani and, and, and write it down properly. Because the question will come, figure out everything which is definite and indefinite in the lesson. Hmm? And then if it is definite, you will have to say why. Okay, is sahibu definite? Yes, why? Because it is mudafun ila marifa. Got the idea? That's why you will write it, brother. Is al mushtari definite? Because it is marifatun bi bi al bi al al tarifi. Write down, brothers and sisters. Huh? Marifatun bi alit Why al Mushtari is definite? Uh, because of the al tarif uh, marifatun it is marifa because of bi al tarif uh, inshallah sahibul mahli naam ladaina what is na definite uh, why it's it's a, it's a damir all damirs are definite ladaina Aklamu Hebrin. Is it Aklamu definite? No. Because Mudafilay is indefinite. What is Aklamu Hebrin? Ink pen. What is it? Ink. Huh? Aklamun. Again it's indefinite. Jafatun. What is the meaning of Jafatun? Ball pen. The ink which is not flowing is dry. Al Mushtari, the purchaser. Atini Zaka. Now, this is a new verb. Inshallah, we want to learn. Are you with me? I think we have done it. It's very, very nice verb. Brother? Ata. Give. Give me something. So there will be two. Maful. Right? What will be the mudariya? Are you with me? Are you with me, brother and sister? Fine. Sister Abir, your team, make Amar. What shall I do? I have to chop here and chop here and bring back Hamzatul Qatar. Fialu Amrin Mabniun Allah Hadfi Harfi Illa Fail Mustatir Takadiruhu Anta Ati. Very common word in Arabic language. Brother? Do you remember this, brother? Wa duha wa layli iza saja ma wadda aka rabbuka wa ma kala 
وَلَلْآخِرَةُ خَيْرٌ لَكَ مِنَ الْعُولَى وَلَسَوْفَ يُعْتِكَ رَبُّكَ فَتَرْدَى Okay, brothers and sisters. There is the verb, U-T. There is the file. There is the file. Rabbuka. See, you can figure out. Huh? Rabbu is your file. Wahuwa huh? muda and mudafili. Huh? And then, brother, we have to have a mafulun bihi. Where is mafulun bihi? Ka. And who is ka? Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Allah is addressing our beloved Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Fasawfa. Sawfa yu'tika rabbuka fatarda. Very soon, your Lord will grant you, give you something is understood to be the second mafulun bihi, huh, which is not mentioned, fatarda, and you will become happy. What is the madi of tarda? Radiya. Radiya, like nasiya, khashiya. Radiya, tarda. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? So here is, brothers and sisters, atini. Okay, brother and sister, I got Ati. There is a noon here. And then Ya Mutakalam. So what is this noon doing here? Noonu Vikaya. And what is this Ya Mutakalam? Mafulun Bihi. Is it definite? Yes. All pronouns are definite. Got the idea, brothers and sisters? Inshallah. Yushiru ila kalamin. So kalamin. Brother and sister, kalamin is your indefinite. Are you with me? Huh? So indefinite, we can easily catch it. Huh? Yushiru. Tell me, sister. So Khaina, what is this verb? Yushiru. What is madi? Ashara. Huh? Huh? Form four. Huh? Ashara. Huh? Ashara you shiru. Like ajaba yujibu. Akama yukimu. What is the meaning of ashara? To point out. Huh? Ishara it comes from here. Huh? So here, brothers and sisters, ishara is your ifalun. Ijabatun. Isharatun. Huh? So ishara is your master. Okay? Now, Yushiru ila kalamin. He points out to a pen. Sahibul mal. Haza. This. What is haza? Definite. Okay. La. Allazi fawkahu. The one over above it. Huh? So brothers and sisters. Allazi. Is it definite? Yes. yes. Fauka, who is who definite? Yes, it's definite. Sahibul Mahal. Haza Nam. Wa atini kalama rasasin. What is kalama rasasin? Rasasin is lead. Pencil. Pencil. Fine. Haza kalamu rasasin. So haza is definite. Kalamu is your khabar. Wa mudaf and mudaf ilayhi. Al mushtari. Atini daftaran. Is daftaran definite, indefinite? Indefinite. We know that. Indefinite. Give me a notebook. Sahibul mahal. Ad dafatiru. Is dafatiru definite? Yeah. Why? Marifatun bi ali tarifi. Ad dafatiru. Anwa'un mukhtalifatun. There are many kinds. Okay? Ayya naw'in turidu. Ayya naw'in turidu. Which kind do you want? Sister Madina, did you see ayya? It is mansub because of turidu. Got the idea? Make a point of it, you know? So that you will never get confused. If it is ayya, you will be able to figure out that it has to be ayya. Al-Mushtari. Uridu daftaran 
za what is za here nat wa huwa mudaf wa rakin musattirin these are all this is mudaf ilayhi then musattirin is your nat musattirin is ismu maful musattirin is your nat brothers and sisters see daftaran indefinite so za is also indefinite because mudafili is indefinite okay ala gilafi hi so he is definite so gilafi is definite are you with me ha yeah. huh? brother muhammad he is definite so gilafi hi is definite ala gilafi hi what is the meaning of ala gilafi on its cover kharitatul alami the map of the world al islami so al alimi al islami are you with me kharitatul alami is kharitatu definite yes why because it is mudafun ila marifa huh? fine brother and what is al islami not fine brother sahibul mahal aturidu shay'an akhara Do you need anything else? Akhara is mansub, and it is diptot, brother. Akharu, akhara, akhara. Huh? Okay, fine. Al mushtari la, sahibul mal. Yuna dibnahu, yuna dibnahu. Are you with me, brother? He calls his son. So, is uh, Ibn definite? Yes. Why? Who is it? Damir is definite. Okay, brother. Yunadi. What is Yunadi? Nada. Form. Form three. Mashallah. Mashallah. This is a nice form, huh, brother. Nada. Yunadi. Huh? Yunadi. Felun, madarion, marfoon, wa alamatu rafaihi. Dhammatul Mukhaddar. Huh? Okay. File Mustatir Takadiru Hua. Huh? Fine. Huh? Ya Waladu. Is Waladu definite? Yes. yes. Why? Yeah. Because of? Yeah. Harfunida. Yeah. Huh? Okay. Da. What is Da? Fail Amar. Are you with me? Put. Hazihi la Shia. Is Hazihi definite? Yes. yes. What is Hazihi? Mafulun bihi. Huh? Mafulun bihi. For da. And what is ashya'a? Badal, mashallah. Fi kisin in a bag. Definite, indefinite? Indefinite. Indefinite. Lil mushtari. To the to the buyer. Atil mizun anta. Atil mizun anta. Are you a student? Are you a student? Al Mushtari Nam Sahibul Mahal Masmuka Masmuka is ka definite? Yes. yes. Then is this some definite? Yes. yes. Because why? Mudafunila Marifa. Huh? Mudafunila Marifa. Al Mushtari Ismi. Mubtada, mudaf, mudafili. Is this me definite? Yes, why? Mudafili is definite. Malikun. My name is Malik. Is Malikun definite? Yes. It's a proper name. Like Muhammadun, Bilalun, Khalidun. Are you with me? So Malikun is definite because it is a proper noun. Okay? Fine. صاحب المحل في أي مدرسة تدرس؟ Translation In which school you study? مالك في مدرسة أمرة ثانوية Okay brother Is مدرسة definite? Yes Yes Why it is definite? Because Ummah is definite. Are you with me? 
Umar is definite. Huh? Very good. And brother, what is the Sanaviyati? Not for what? Madrasa. See, it has got Al. But Madrasa doesn't have Al. But it is definite. So Nath has to be definite. Are you with me? See how deep we are now thinking. We did not think like this before. But this is very interesting. I'm sure you will find it easy. I'm sure you will find it easy. You will read this. Okay? And inshallah, you will see that you are understanding. The point is this, brothers and sisters. Pronouns are definite. Ismu sharas are definite. Ismu mausula is definite. A noun with al is definite. Proper nouns are definite, like the name of a city, a country, they are definite. And then, then mudaf becomes definite if mudaf ilayhi is definite. Okay. And plus, if you put al, it becomes definite. And if you put harfunida, it becomes definite. So, tell me one thing, brother and sister. Is this something new we are learning? No. We knew it. We are just revising it. What are we doing? We are revising, but revising how, how much? Revision. Thorough revision. <laughs> Thorough revision. Eh? So, inshallah, this is a very beautiful lesson, brother. Inshallah, it will increase your knowledge. Inshallah. Fine, brother and sisters. يُسَلِّمُ لَهُ الْوَلَدُ Just a lesson before we said يُسَلِّمُ ala. What was the meaning of يُسَلِّمُ ala? To say salamu alaikum wa rahmatullah يُسَلِّمُ لَهُ To give huh? To give huh? So Brother, where is the file? Al-waladu huh? Al-waladu is the file. Huh? And Ashia'a is Mafulun bi. Translation, brother. The boy gives him things in a in a bag. Are you with me? Very good, brother. Wa yadafa'u malikun. Kimataha. What is the meaning of this? Dafa yatfo is to pay. And then Malik pays the price of it. Is ha definite? Is ha definite? Yeah. Is kimat definite? Yes. Okay, fine. Is Malik definite? Yes. Wayak Ruju. And he goes out. Sahib Mahal. Sahibul Mahal. Ya Maliku. Is Maliku definite? It was already definite. So Ya would not make any difference to it. Huh? Taal. What is the meaning of Taal? Come. Hadihi. Is it definite? Yes. Lawhatun. Jamilatun. So this is a beautiful plaque. Huh? You understand? Plague, huh? Plague. You know, some picture. Are you with me, brother? Huh? Hazihi. Hazihi. Lawhatun jamilatun. Tahvi. What is tahvi? What is madi? Hawa Yahvi contains Ayatin wa Ahadisa. They are both indefinite. Hiya Hadiyatun. This is a gift laka to you. Ka is definite? Yes, it is definite. Hadiyatun definite? No. Ayatin definite? No. Fine, brother. Malik, shukran, yakrau, ma indakum, whatever is with you, yanfadu, 
it will get exhausted. Huh? It will get nafida yanfadu. Write down, brother. Nafida yanfadu. Huh? Ma indakum yanfadu. Whatever is with you, it will it will be exhausted. It will run out. Wama indallahi. Whatever with Allah, it will remain forever. Bakin mankus. Huh? Is it definite? No. It's indefinite. Huh? Bakin. Huh? It is a some file. What is the verb? Sister Sukhaina? Bakiya. Bakiya yabka. To remain. Bakin. Okay, brothers and sisters. Wama in the lahi bakin. Wama in the kum yan fadu. Okay. Wama in the lahi bakin. Beautiful verse, brothers and sisters. The last, I will do it, brothers and sisters. This is hadith. Rawahu shaykhani. Al Muslimu. What is Al Muslimu? Definite. Wahuwa Muftada. Al Muslimu Muftada. Okay. And where is our khabar? Man is your khabar. Muslim is the one that is your khabar. And what is man? Is it definite? Yes. It is man mausula. What is it? Man mausula. Huh? Muslim is the one. Huh? Salim al Muslimuna min lisanihi wa yadihi. Okay, brother. Salima has come. Means to be secure. To be safe. Where is the file for Salima? Muslimuna. Huh? Muslimuna is the file. The Muslims, Jama, are safe from his tongue and from his hand. Brother, this is very beautiful hadith. Huh? Who is Muslim? Brother? If the others are not safe from your tongue and your hand, you are not a Muslim. brother. Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam says, Muslim is the one. The other Muslims, all Muslims are safe from his tongue and from his hand. Got the idea? Inshallah. So, brother and sister, Al-Muslimu, Muftida. Where is the khabar? Man. Huh? Man is your khabar. And Salima Muslimuna, what is all this thing? Silatul Masul. Got the idea? Alhamdulillah. Huh? You got it, huh, brother and sister. Beautiful. Brothers and sisters, now we come to Ta'ala. Huh? I have some time, I'll explain this. What is this, brothers and sisters? Ta'ala. What is it? Abir, tell me what, what kind of a, na, a verb is this? Form. Form six. What is it, brother? Form. See? Ta with ala. Three plus three. Was it? What is it? Three plus three. Huh? Ala. Okay. Okay, and then ta'ala. Okay. Form six. Because of the nakis, being a nakis, you got confused. Fine, brothers and sisters. Ta'ala. Felun madin. Mabniun ala fatahatil mukhattara. Fine. Make it mudariya. Remember, brothers and sisters? Yata'ala. In five, form five, and form six, what is it all? Fatah, fatah, fatah. And there are no kasras. Fatah, fatah, fatah. So, brothers and sisters, ta'ala. And then, yata'ala. Ya, ta'ala. Felun, mudariun, marfun, bidammatil, 
Mukattara. Huh? Can, can we conjugate this a little bit? Ready? Ta'ala, ta'alaya, and then ta'alaw, huh? and then ta'alat, and then ta'alata, and then ta'alayna, like that. Huh? Ya ta'ala, ready? Ya ta'alayani, ya ta'alawna, lawna. Got to pra- again uh, revise it. Yansa, Yansa Yani, Yansavna. I want you not to forget the forget. <laughs> Are you with me? I want you not to forget the verb forget. Okay? Okay? Ta'al. Yata'ala, Yata'ala Yani. Then yata'a lawna. And tata'ala, tata'ala yani. And then yata'a layna. But, but if you know this much, then that is good enough. Okay. Now we go to the key, brother. Huh? We go to the key. Huh? No, but before I go, let's make amar quickly. Uh, how will you make an amar, brother Hassan? Where shall I chop? And here. What is left? Are you with me? How will I define? Fellow Amran, Mabniuna la Hadfi, Harfi, Illa. Ta'ala. But you will never say Ta'ala. You will always say Ta'al. What will you say? You know, when you are pronouncing, you will give us Sukun. Ta'al. Come. Okay, brother? Make it into mournness. What is the verb of mournness? Tata a lay na. What is it? Are you with me? Did I write correctly? Anta. Tata a la antuma. Tata a layani. Antum. Tata a launa. Anti. Tata a layna. Fine, make it amar now. Padasan, chop and chop. Ta a lay. What is it? Ta a lay. So if you have to give amar to a sister, fellow amarin mabnun ala hadfi noon. Hadfi noon. Are you with me? You only drop the noon. Where is the file? Yeah. 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 Okay, now we say antum. Tata a launa. Brother Hassan, one more fail amar. Huh? Chop here and chop here. What is left, another? Ta a lau. Are you with me? The Ahlaw. Fill Amarin. Mabniun ala. Hadafi noon. Where is the file? Wow, is the file. Are you with me? Now, quickly we just go to the key and then we can finish it. I did not want to do it before because it would have become too much. Now we have done the lesson. We'll do this, inshallah. Page 33, number 7. Taal. Come. This verb is used only in the Amar. Huh? Highlight it. Huh? In the Madi and the Mudariya, the verb Ja'a Yaji'u is used. Or Ata Ya'ati is used. This verb is not used in Madi Mudariya with the same meaning. Huh? Ja'a Yaji'u or Ata Ya'ati is used. Okay. Ja'ani Bilalun Amsi. Where is the file of Ja'a? Bilalun. What is Ni doing here? Nunu Vikaya. Ya Mutakalam? Bafulunbi. Bilal came to me yesterday. Huh? Huh? Or you can say, La Tatini 
gadan. La ta'atini gadan. What kind of a la is this? La nahiya. Huh? Brothers and sisters, this is la nahiya. Okay? La ta'ati is like this. But then it gets, because la nahiya will make it majzum. Felun mudarion, majzumun bi hazafi, harfi illa. Fail mustatir, takdiruhu anta. Okay, and then nunu vikaya. Huh? Do not come to me. Are you with me? What is it? Tati ni. Mafulun bihi nunu vikaya. Are you with me? La tati ni. Gadan, tomorrow, don't come to me tomorrow, I'm busy. Okay, it's not mentioned, but it's there. Okay. Don't come to me tomorrow. Are you with me, brother and sister? So, atayati ja'a yaji is used. Okay, now, here is ta'ala. It's not that to the other pronouns of the second person. Ta'ala ya ikhwanu. Did you see ta'ala? Highlight it, brother. Huh? Because this is where we just made the practice. Huh? Ta'ala? What is ta'ala? Fail amrin mabniyun ala adhfinun. Where is the file? Wow, mashallah. Okay. And then ta'ala ya khatija. Come ya khatija. Ta'ala? Fail amrin mabniyun ala adhfinun. Where is the file? Yeah, yeah very good. And ta'a layna. Huh? Ta'a layna. This is antunna. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Antunna. It's mabni. Huh? Ta'a layna. Ya khawatu. Then ta'a laya. Are you with me? If you say huh? ta'a layani, you drop the noon. And you chop the ta, it becomes ta'alaya. Are you with me? Shall I write it? No, no. You will be able to figure out. I would like you to write down the six amars. And then tomorrow again I will write it for you on the board. Huh? I will write down the six forms of amar. Huh? And see if you can describe it. Huh? It's easy. Uh, it's easy. Okay, brothers and sisters. The word ta'ala is however used... In the Mahdi and the Mudarya, in the sense of, he went up, he rose, he was exalted. Highlight, he was exalted. You know why? Well, this is all the time we use. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. What is the meaning of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Ta'ala means exalted. Huh? Subhanahu, inshallah, very soon I will explain to you. And brother, if you understand the meaning of subhanahu, you are going to be amazed. Most of us, we do not know. We say subhanahu, subhanahu. We don't understand, brother. Inshallah, I'll explain to you. And it will surprise you, brother. I was totally surprised and was very happy to learn the actual meaning of subhana. Okay, brother? So he, the Amal Ta'ala originally meant come up. What is the meaning of Ta'al? To come up. It actually meant come up, ascend. Then it came to mean just come. So only Ta'ala is used for Amal. Come. But not in any other way. Otherwise you will use Ja'a Yaji'u or Ata Ya'ati. Huh? Inshallah. You got the idea brothers and sisters? I will do it again, ta'ala, tomorrow. I'll write it down so that you have got a good understanding. I will ask you to conjugate, inshallah. Huh? Brothers and sisters. Inshallah, it was interesting. Huh? This lesson is not hard, brother. If you read it, you will understand everything. Try to read the whole lesson. Then we can move forward to new lesson, inshallah, tomorrow. Rabbana. آتینا فی الدنیا حسنتا و فی الاخرت حسنتا و وکینا عذاب النار ربنا حبلنا من ازواجینا و ذریعتینا قررت آیونن 
وجعلنا للمتقين اماما ربنا تقبل منا انك انت سميع العليم وتب علينا انك انت التواب الرحيم سبحان ربك رب العزه عما يصفون وسلامنا على المرسلين الحمد لله رب العالمين